Dr. Stringola. I'm an interventional cardiologist with a special interest in imaging and I work with Vital Heart and Vein for the last five years. I've been with the University of Texas, however, for approximately 20 years uh, working on this technology. Thanks to my mentor who has developed the technology of uh, PET, which is the discussion we're going to have today, over the last 40 years. Well, the profession of a physician is, uh, is very rich in the sense you have the clinical part, you have the research part and you have the teaching. And I enjoy all these three parts, but most importantly, what uh, uh, wakes me up and make me going during the day and many times at night is to try to do something good for other people. So PET scan stands for Positron Emission Tomography, which is a very sophisticated, very special technology, extremely accurate, which allows the measurements of the blood flow to the heart. Coronary artery disease is the number one killer in the United States. One out of three people will uh, die from this condition. This technology allows early detection and helps in the management of coronary artery disease in a very accurate way. So PET, positron emission tomography, helps in the diagnosis of coronary artery disease. And I will show you what coronary artery disease is, which is the condition that causes heart attacks, and the same type of disease eventually causes strokes, cardiovascular disease. And the PET is very sophisticated, able to detect very early this condition. So atherosclerosis, what it is, is the deposit of cholesterol inside the blood vessel. This is a normal blood vessel. This is the fat, the deposit of fat. And you may have progressively more blockages. And these type of blockages, they can cause shortness of breath, chest pain, and eventually can cause heart attacks. The PET is focused on the heart. So we're going to look at the blood flowing through the heart across the coronary arteries, which are these uh, small blood vessels, the size of the coronary arteries in the order of three millimeters, that allowed us to survive. The heart has to beat about 100,000 times a day before we even start our first breath. If the heart stops for about three seconds, uh, we cannot survive. That's why this organ is essential, and it's essential that we take care of it earlier on. The PET allowed us to diagnose these conditions very earlier on. So the PET is a very accurate way, like we were saying, that allowed us to see the blood flow into the heart, from the coronary to the heart muscle. So what the PET shows in great detail, in great accuracy, is showing the blood flow into the heart. So I'm gonna show you, you take your heart and we just go around the heart from the front, the side, the back and the other side. Just uh, like uh, going around the house, around the car. The normal color of the heart is this color here, red or orange or white. These are the stress images and the rest images. This is a normal heart, completely normal blood flow. This one instead is a case of an abnormal study. These are the rest images, you see very nice and uh, orange or red. And these are the stress pictures, where you have a severe lack of blood supply to the heart. It's not red anymore, it's blue. That meaning you don't have enough blood going in this area of the heart. And when we look at these images of the flow of the heart muscles, there is a very large area which is measured at 27% of the heart not receiving good oxygen. So now you are asking me what's good about PET and why we should use PET rather than other technology. But for one thing you saw yourself, extremely easy, extremely easy to see if it's normal or abnormal, if there is any blockage or not. The patient itself can see it. And in fact, many times we sit down with the patient and show them the pictures and you can see what's normal or abnormal. And you can do that because with this technology, it's very clear what's happening, normal or abnormal. We can quantify very precisely the condition. The PET has uh, other advantages uh, compared to other technologies. One of the things is that uh, it's very fast. 
It takes about 30 minutes to do this test, so everybody can do it because you just need to stay calm, relax, and take these pictures and you will have this type of images, this type of results. The second thing, we already said, is very accurate. So it's more accurate than the traditional tests that normally are done to detect the presence of coronary artery disease. The third thing, any test that we do for uh, evaluation of coronary artery disease, it tends to expose you to some risk of radiation. There is a small risk of radiation, like you can do a CAT scan, like you can do a regular traditional stress test. The PET is the one that gives you the least amount of exposure. The amount of exposure for PET is approximately the same you will get living one year in Denver. The third is that this technology not only tells you if your heart is normal or abnormal, but can quantify, can tell you in detail how healthy is your heart. So this technology is fast, is accurate, is comprehensive, and uh, if you are seeing your doctor even the same day, you can have the results for the reason I explained to you. It's very fast, it's efficient, and you can even sit with your doctor and review the images if, uh, if this is what uh, you wish. So you have the question, then we have such a great technology, Dr. Zdringola, why we are not using that more often? The answer is, we will. We are gonna use that more often. Why has not been used more often? because it's very expensive. It used to be extremely expensive and utilized only in research, this technology, but now the cost of the machine are going down and therefore we can afford to provide this type of technology, specialized technology, to everybody who qualify for this type of test. The referring physicians and the patients, when they have this test done, they can expect very accurate information on the health of their heart in terms of information on the function of the heart, but also in the blood flowing to the heart. The PET is unique because there is no other non-invasive technology right now that can provide this type of information. It can measure how good is the blood flow to your heart. It's not just gonna tell you normal or abnormal, but it's gonna tell you everything normal, or you have some mild buildup, or you have some moderate buildup, and you can act on that very early on. So on the report, you will see normal, abnormal, but then how good is your heart? Do you have coronary calcification? You can measure and quantify in great detail how healthy is your heart. The doctor can use this type of information to guide the therapy. See if there is a change over time on the blood flow to your heart because this test is that accurate. So if you repeat the same test two or three years down the road, you can measure the difference. That's the great value of this technology. Because of the accuracy, so the capacity, the precision, to detect disease and to measure the blood flowing to the heart muscles, this technology can help detecting very early on the disease, or if you do already have the disease, it can point out where, exactly in which area of your heart, the problem is. This is extremely important in the management of the condition because uh, Medications can be changed depending on your clinical response, but also if you need to have an invasive procedure, the doctor is gonna find something which has been indicated by the PET. So you're not gonna just have an invasive procedure, which is called heart cut or cardiac catheterization, and then happen like 40% of the people, they found no disease. So you just do the trip for nothing, just to tell you good news, of course, but if you could have avoided that, you would have saved a lot of pain, sufferings, and money. So here at uh, Vital Heart and Vein, we're very lucky because we are uh, carrying on the teaching of uh, the pioneer who has developed, the person who has developed this technology, which is Dr. Lance Gould. Lance Gould is a professor at the University of Texas. 
and we had the honor and the privilege to learn from him. And we have been learning this technology for the last 25 years. He is still working on that, still making it better and better. And he's providing us the tool to be able to do a correct interpretation of the images. So the correct interpretation requires training, requires knowledge. And here at Vital Heart and Vein, we can do provide this type of experience and put it at the service of the community.